Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to APW, I'm Stephen Matthews and I welcome you from Milan, Italy. We're gonna kick things off with a six-man tag team match. The team of Tyler James, Daniel Smith and that big man right there, Arthur Hagen. And the team up to face the guys who they brought with on episode 4 of Thunder. Which are Aaron Flex, James Hendry and the United States Champion, Eddie Williams. Not forget, let's not forget, these three men stood up to the bullying that these three were doing. They're gonna team up and let's not forget the fact that James Henry and Eddie Williams they are gonna face off at Grand Slam in a 30 minute Ironman match for that United States Championship. And Aaron Flex will face uh, Arthur Hagen. Oh, what a match this is gonna be. Six man root, six man tag team match. And the United States Champion getting all the love. From the fence line in Italy. The man who doesn't get lucky, he stays lucky. And what a set, what a score he saddled Eddie Williams. And Arthur Hagen, a two legal man. Oh, what a punch by Eddie Williams. And Williams is going for something. A frog drop kick. No, he missed it. But Pendrick caught him. Caught Arthur Hagen with a spinning kick. Taking him down, taking the big monster down, which is Arthur Hagen. Eddie Williams goes with some kicks, but nah, you don't want to mess with Arthur Hagen. Oh, but Williams having control over the big man. Going for something. Maybe a uh, springboard splash. I should say springboard cross body by the one and only Ken, Ken Eddie Williams. What a match so far. You know. Oh, what a drop by Eddie Williams playing those mind games with Arthur Hagen. Trying to. Oh, what a punch by the big man. One punch was enough to take this man down. Oh no. Oh, what a super stars by Eddie. Uh, sorry, by Arthur Hagen and Eddie Williams. As the rest of the wrestlers right there, like Daniel Smith and the rest are on the outside. They were brawling and now two legal men are still in the ring. And Look at the way Arthur Hagen tosses Eddie Williams in this in the ring, tossing him like a sack of potatoes. But Williams trying to get back up with a headlock takedown and starting to punch Arthur Hagen. Williams has to be prepared. Uh -oh, Williams tries something. He's gonna try something. But Williams going back to the ropes. And Arthur Hagen gets caught with the Hurricane Runner. Williams tries to do the, get the cover, but the ropes are there for Arthur Hagen. Williams has to do something. He's getting on a roll. He wants to end it. Imagine the fact if this man can pin Arthur Hagen. And Arthur Hagen is going through the rope on the ropes. Wait, no. Williams can't. Oh, another suplex toss. Man, what a move. Here's the pin. Here's the one. And here's the two. But not the three. Eddie Williams kicks out. But Henry and Aaron Beck were ready to make the save. And another one. There's a series of suplexes by Arthur Hagen. And this man and Eddie Williams. Oh, and that close line that nearly decapitated him. I think Arthur Hagen will make. I don't know what the hell Arthur Hagen will for. And Arthur Hagen throws Williams into the ropes. Going belly to belly suplex. Throwing him around the ring. I don't know what the hell Arthur Hagen is going. Oh, he's going to tag in Daniel Smith. A guy who didn't really make such an impact. He was a part of the Fatal Four for the United Championship, though, but he didn't win it. And what the hell is he going for? Oh, a power driver! Power driver by. Daniel Smith and Eddie Williams. He's getting back up. I know Williams is rolling to the outside. Daniel Smith taking his eyes with the prize. And the main man in the match, not the legal man so far, Eddie Williams. This guy may, must make a tag. He's going for a running neck breaker. What a running neck breaker by Eddie Williams. And he's going. Probably for the thing. Oh no, he's gonna just throw his belt. And he's going. Uh oh. He's going for the big man. He's going for Aaron Flex. 
And I think Daniel Smith just tagged in Arthur Hagen. Oh boy. But what a spear by Arthur Hagen. Oh, sorry, by Aaron Flex. Oh, and Smith, of course, the forearm helping Arthur Hagen, his teammate. And whoa! What a power, what a power shot for this one. Black button drop on the top of seven, six feet long, seven feet tall. With Arthur Hagen thrown like it was nothing by current Flex. And Flex is going for another spear. No, he's going for a takedown. We have a the exact same thing that happened on Thunder after Arthur Hagen nearly destroyed, actually nearly, he destroyed PCN and nearly unmasked him. And this is something people should not see because these two are ha have hatred for each other. Look at the punches that Arthur Hagen is throwing at Aaron Flex. We see Tyler James is there well, with a bat, maybe preventing for somebody to interfere. And look at the way Arthur Hagen is still on him. Arthur Hagen might have won that exchange. And he's going for a belly to belly. Oh my god! Belly to belly on Aaron Flex. You guys, I can literally say they don't like each other. And a forearm. And he's looking at James Hendry and Eddie Williams. And he hits Hendry. My god, with the forearm. And he's not going for the United States champion for Eddie Williams. Both of them taken out by this number man, Arthur Hagen. And he's a belly to belly again. This guy for his size is a very agile and very strong man. Oh my god, and I see he's kind of a technical too with that hard ball. It didn't last that long. And Flex is going for something. Oh, a bear hug. But he's releasing it quickly. But he's going for something. A four. Whoa, Walter Hagen. At the last second, he dodged that one. He's going for shoulder slam. A running pot. I would say a shoulder slam because not really a running. He's throwing that back into Daniel Smith. He doesn't need it. Oh. Because Tyler James was the guy who brought it in the match. Mm, oh no, Arthur Hagen has control again. Oh, and Flex is going over the rope. Because Metro does the same thing that happened. If you are being thrown over the rope at Grand Slam, that Rumble match, she are eliminated. Like we talked before, Grand Slam is the next pay per view for APW. Which is going to have so, big, so many big matches. We talked about matches. We talked earlier about Eddie Williams facing James Hendry for the United States Championship. These two are actually teammates tonight for the United States title Ironman match. 30 minute Ironman match nonetheless. We also have Arthur Hagen facing Aaron Flex in the Battle of the Giants, if I recall. We also have matches like Alex Carter facing Jay Strickland for the World Heavyweight title. Many, many matches. And of course, that Grand Slam run for 30 men who entered that match. And the funny thing is, this match is unique because you can bring weapons with you, so, but the maximum limit for weapons is 5. You only are allowed to bring 5 weapons in that match. And the winner receives that briefcase that guarantees them a world championship or any championship they want in APW. Oh my god! German suplex for over a year. Like, the later we have to focus once again on the matches. Arthur Hagen is dominating on this man on Aaron Flex and he's going to tag in Tyler James. And yes, Tyler James is the one who's tagged in now by Arthur Hagen. That bat has been in the ring so far too many times. He's really trying to win it. What the hell is he going for? Crossbody! Running crossbody on, up on uh, Aaron Flex. And he's mauling him. Look at the way punching him. This guy is a, I'd say, not really a specimen, but he's six foot four, I think. Rather than 30, 39 pounds, 40 pounds. And look at the power of a spine buster on Aaron Flex. He's pinned. The two, but nearly the three, but Aaron kicks out. And he's going for something. And he's gonna. Oh, Hendry and Aaron Flex try to team up a little bit, but Tyler reversed that attempt of the move. Oh, and Aaron Flex accidentally hits his tag partner. Oh, and a foreign strike to Tyler James taking in his partner, Dale Smith. Oh, and he's getting a boot. And 
Look at that specimen. We talked about it. Oh, shoulder breaker from Iron Flag. See, that he's not a legal man anymore, which is Daniel Smith now. Relation is so far well matched. These two teams. And he's going for something. Ooh, nice spring for Superman punch. Daniel Smith finally showcasing something. Showcasing that he's good enough to be here. A man who didn't do much. I mean, in his first match, he got pinned in under uh, 30 seconds by XT Gun, our X Division champion. And being a guy who lost, he was the first eliminated at Vengeance in that fatal four way with Paul Terrier. He's going for a drop to hold on Iron Flex. Daniel Smith wants to show the world that he can hang with the big dogs in this company, even though this company's only been here for a month and a half. This show, these shows have been getting a lot of interest. These boys getting a lot of eyes on. And oh, what a close on drop by Daniel Smith on Aaron Flex and Henry with that with that bat again. I swear to God that bat has been involved more in the match than actually the wrestlers. Smith was about to eat the boot, but he was smart hitting the clothesline. And Smith, oh, trying to punch him. What the hell is he doing? Stop taunting, man. Big boot. Iron Flex must do the tag. And I think he will tag in James Hendry, baby. The Hendry takeover. The man who was so close to become United States champion. The guy who hit his finish. He was about to hit his finish at Vengeance. That shoulder sitting slam. That cradle shot. I like to call it. Oh, and I need to Otter Hagen knocking down the big man. The tree of the man that Otter Hagen is. He's going for Tyler James. Like I said, he was hitting that finish. But Williams, as his model, he is lucky. He rolled him out. Rolled him with a victory goal. And that was the end. That was the night that Henry wants to was really upset and that's the reason that Grand Slam he wants to redeem himself. Oh no, what the hell? And he's going once again with the knee. Oh, and what a knee taking down Tyler James. And he's going for the sleeper hold on uh, Daniel Smith, which is releasing it quickly. String the ring bell. And he's going for a code breaker. Oh no, what the hell? He's going for another hang. Oh, taking the big man once again down. Making sure that him and Daniel Smith are the only two guys that are on their feet. And then he's going for a DDT. Mailing the DDT on uh, Daniel Smith. And he's going for the something. He's going to the ropes. Oh, baby, he's going for something. Hand to take over. Double Alexander. And he's going for Arthur Hagen again. Shooting. Oh, he was caught. Caught with a flatliner, I think. Oh my god. I think this is. Wait a Daniel Smith! Oh! Superman punch! Spring that Superman punch again. Man, this match has been very competitive. Very. I'm just about to lost the words for it. And how the match is going on, man. This is great. I I'm loving it. What a match. And, whoa! He's. Why? I just don't get it. What? Oh my god, no! And he hit Williams with the bat. That's the lucky because the guy is not a legal man, so he can strike, it, strike him with that weapons. What the hell is Andrew going? Where is Henry? I think Arthur Hagen still holds him. Yeah, still beating him. He must get back in the ring, and Tyler James is tagged in. Oh no, and now Henry's getting his uh, ass handed to him by Tyler James. And uh, Daniel Smith now, a new, recent new tag team. Look at the power! Holy shit! Oh! Oh my god, what a corner of press time to the ass. And Tyler James showing athleticism by accident, by inadvertently hitting his uh, tag partner, Arthur Hagen. I was just to be more careful. I don't think he wants to piss somebody like Arthur Hagen. He's a monster of a man. I don't think he really cares either because that guy can take him on, I think. Henry is going for a knee once again. Henry trying to get back into the match. Knocking Tyler James' head off with that knee. And he's going for a tornado DDT. Nice, nice DDT there by Henry. Oh, he's going for that cradle shock. 
I'm out. Oh, shoulder slam. By Tyler James, showing that strength once again. And he's going for a German suplex. Hendricks in deep trouble right now. Tyler James can pull an upset beating this kid. One of his most favorite. Spear! What a spear takedown, but only on one count. But Henry, I don't know where he did find that energy to kick out, but he did. And he's going for that knee strike from the back. This time hitting the back. I think he's finally going to end it with that move. But he cannot hit it. That's the thing. He cannot hit it. That's the same difficulties he had with Eddie. Really low in the punch to the face. And I think this time he hit it. And he has it. He hit it. He hits the move. One. Two. Three. That's it. That's it. James O. James O. James O. is picking up the win. And he shook this presentation of what? But this to Eddie Williams. But anyway, ladies and gentlemen, that was our match. And right now, we're going to have our World Heavyweight Champion addressing his challenger, Alex Carter, at Grand Slam. This is the time that Strickland requested speak his mind about Alex Carter. And Trevor Mitchell, our GM, agreed with that. This man, since he won his first ever, first champ, world championship in this community at Vengeance, he has grown a bigger ego than he already had, calling himself one of the best wrestlers in the world, the so-called prospect. Yeah, true, he is a prospect, he's one of the best in this ring, but you don't need to be that egomaniac and being that ego boosted like he is. I mean, the guy beat Tyler Andrew. In that match at Vengeance, and uh, Alan Andrew had Vengeance, and he's now the champion. Let's see what he has to say. You won't, you won't, you won't. I have to give it to you. You have earned my respect at me for my APW World Heavyweight Championship. Now, Elix, I know holding the world title is a dream for you. But see, I can't let you achieve that until you earn my respect. When I look at you, I see a pathetic loser who can't seem to get his hands on a title. Elix, you are a failure, a wannabe, a mark. Let me tell you something. Elix, I am no pass. I am no bitch. I am, I back down. From nothing. I am better than each and every person on this roster. I am the prospect, Jay Strickland. And Elix, I like to know something about you. Who are you? Prove to me that you are a warrior who can stand on his own two feet. So at Grand Slam, it is me versus you, Elix Carter, for the A. PW World Heavyweight Championship. Ladies and gentlemen, strong words from Strickland calling this guy, Alex Carter, a wannabe, a failure. Because he didn't win a championship yet, but don't worry, Strickland. You may call him a failure, you may call him a loser, but don't you believe, don't you dare underestimate that guy. That guy is one of the best wrestlers we have in our roster, one of the most athletic wrestlers. As Strickland just says that he will run through him, he's gonna beat him. And he will show you who he is, Strickland. Don't worry. He will show you who the hell he is. Hey Shane, anyway. We're going to our main event. Final match of the night, ladies and gentlemen. As XT Gun team looks up with Matt O'Shea to take on Steve Rockhouse and Jason Leto. I mean, to be honest, this match is gonna be very intriguing because Rockhouse. We didn't see him since Vengeance when he lost the match for the Global Championship against Christopher Black. When he was made to, he was made to tap out the armbar. He only broke him, breaking his arm as he said. He only dislocated his shoulder. That's the reason he had to tap out. In you know, a point, he has a point, but I think he could have held better. He didn't escape from that submission hold. But anyway, that's in the past. We're focused on the future. Here comes a guy who proclaims to be 
one of the biggest wrestlers in the world, the best in the world, Jason Lethal, a guy who won Thunder, he lost to Ray, and technically, thankfully, thanks to um, this man right here, the man who he took out on last episode, Matt O'Shea. Here he is, ladies and gentlemen, the man who made his return, made his comeback at Thunder Episode 4, repaying the favor, Jason Lethal, screwing him of a championship shot. And tonight, he has one of the best wrestlers in the world as his tag partner, the man who's about to come out, the X Division Champion, the Oddity, XT Gun. And I cannot lie to say, not, I cannot lie, I absolutely like this guy. One of the best wrestlers, not only in this roster, not only in this company, but one of the best in this community. A man who has grown so much in the last month. A man who went, his, well, let's say he's undefeated in APW, never lost a match. In his first match, he won 130 seconds against Daniel Smith. Then he went to win a two-on-one handicap match against the tag team champions, Balin Payne. Then he went to become the first ever X Division champion. But even before that, he went in a hell of a match with Adrian McLeod. And the rest is history, as this man is teaming with Adam Shane. Here we go, the bell has rolled. Jason Lethal and XT Gun, the two legal guys. Oh, and what a DDT by XT Gun as Matt O'Shea is taking his ass, taking a beating from Rockhouse. Rockhouse reversing that move by XT to a side backbreaker, and Lethal runs with an elbow drop. This match is going to be intense. This match is going to be one for the ages, I think. This is our main event tonight in Milan, Italy. And when it, he's going for something. Wait, pop up knee strike. And sent on Bob. Actually, got showing you who is the boss, who is the champion. Man, this man, it, that's the thing. Actually, God doesn't even have a match at the, to defend his championship at Grand Slam. I mean, there's still a few episodes until that show. I mean, like, two episodes of, uh, after this one, two episodes of uh, APW and two of Thunder. I mean, oh, and XT Gun falls. Oh, man. That was a hard fall. Oh, he's taking him down. Close line. Man, what a close line there. XT Gun tried to do something, but he botched. He slipped. Oh, and he's tried something again. He didn't do it. Oh, no. Elbow drop for Jason Lethal. What a move, man. man. Holy shit. Oh, catapulting into the ring. XT Gun getting a catapult. Wait, a come on. Lethal is just. Man, this guy calling himself one of the best wrestlers, but. Really? This guy is just a prick. Look at him. And he's even taking the broom. He wants to get disqualified. Man, Jesus Christ. This guy is not even a fucking wrestler in my eyes. This guy is just a moron for claiming to be one of the best. A guy who couldn't beat Ray. I mean, yeah, sure, he had him beat. With that knee strike, I think, that super knee strike, but Matt O'Shea repaid him the favor, and that's why these two, Matt O'Shea and Jason Lethal, are gonna fight at Grand Slam in a street fight. Wait a minute, oh, superplex! What a superplex by XT Gun! And I think he's going for, XT Gun is going for the tag, he's going for Matt O'Shea. And Jason Lethal may be going for the tag on Steve Rockhouse. No, he's not. He's taking a beating from XT. XT Gun is going for something. Oh no. No, he's not because this man doesn't want to get up. But he has no choice. Because XT Gun is just beating him. Wait, he took his eyes. Oh wait, Nick Ring Ball reversing to a into a backslide. XT Gun may hit and move already. Oh, oh what a push to the face. Busting him open, oh no, in a headlock there. Wait, what the hell is he doing? What the hell this idiot did? What the hell this idiot did? He just took out his partner by accident. Oh, what a stunner from the from that position there by XT Gun. Stunner from out of nowhere. 
I thought actually he's going for the gunshot for a second right there. And no. And here he comes. Matt O'Shea's the legal man. And Matt O'Shea, oh, too much adrenaline into goes into the ropes and he nearly falls to the outside. And Matt O'Shea's going for him. Express no. Caught with a sleeper hole there by and Rockhouse. I think he got angry with the fact that he was shoved from the apron. Oh, and O'Shea takes it down. With a test press. I don't think Rockhouse even cares about the match anymore. Because, you know, that's the thing. This guy thinks he's so better than everybody. He doesn't even need help from his teammate. DV, DDV, DVD. Death Valley driver right there from Matt O'Shea. Planning his head. Oh, what a close right here. Decapitating O'Shea. Lethal. And look, see, even Rockhouse. Had enough of this guy. Look at him. He's staying on the outside. Doesn't even want to get involved. Oh, what a back suplex. One, two. Now he's getting and he's leaving again. This guy really had enough of Jason Lethal's attitude. That's the reason this guy's not very like. Wait, what a roll up into a test press. Matt O'Shea and Lethal having that hatred like we talked about Arthur Hagen and Arrow Flex earlier. This is the kind of same the hatred level, but these two have more. Uh, valuable reasons to hate each other because these two both of them screwed each other of championship opportunities because O'Shea was supposed to be in the cyber championship tournament and he was taken out because of this man oh that daddy driver and Daniel Gibson replaced him and also last episode he was about to be in a triple threat match for the number one contendership for the world title and also that is the reason O'Shea lost two championship opportunities because of this man and last episode on Thunder this man just repaid a favor to Lethal and cost him a chance to go to the semi-finals of the Cyber Championship tournament. And Rockhouse tries to finally get involved. XT got was tagged in. DDT. I would say Tornado DDT. By the one and only, the X Division Champion, the Oddity XT Gun. Oh no. Uh oh. The XT Gun is going for Oh no. I thought he was going for the gunshot. But he slipped. XC Gun had that gut shot. I think he wants to end the things. And then, oh no, he's going for a suplex. Oh! Sending him to the ring again. Man, I just realized that Rockhouse was not even tagged in this match so far. Then uh, Gun is going for a suplex. No. No, no. Lethal is going for a. Oh my god, he was going for that finish. Oh man. He's going for a kick. And XT Gun falls down. And what the hell is Lethal? Lethal's going for a suicide dive once again. And Rockhouse doesn't even care about the match. See? Doesn't care. Oh, he now cares. He's beating him with a rent on, which is legal on the outside. And XT Gun fighting back and winning. Oh, O'Shea! And Lethal in the ring as well. But O'Shea's not a legal man. No, no. I think Lethal should just focus on XT Gun because he's doing a big mistake right now. Oh, we want to meet the face. Taking O'Shea down. And he's going for another one. And this guy is just beating O'Shea. Trying to take him out. And another knee strike. And look at Lito. He's taunting. He took. He's taunting. He thinks he's better than O'Shea. Well, he does a C gun. X T gun. Gunshot. Big mistake. Taking your eyes off the X T gun. With a gunshot. Two and three, that's it. XT got with the gunshot, sealed the deal. Big mistake made by Jason Lethal. Ladies and gentlemen, this was. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, wait. What the hell is happening backstage? We see Jace, Jace Strickland and Aaron Flex. We see Ivor Hagen and Alex Carter. Two of the big matches that are gonna happen at the Grand Slam. And Arthur Hagen is getting a punch from Strickland and a Bulldog. Carter, boom! Oh! Carter took, took Aaron Flex out of the way. I think he was going for Strickland. He's going for Strickland right now. And Aaron Flex is going for Arthur Hagen. Two of the big matches that are going to happen at Grand Slam. And they're fighting. This is the same scene that we went from uh, episode 4 of Thunder. Brawling to the back. We see a lot of brawls, a lot of fights. The boys are don't, can't wait for Grand Slam. Carter and Strickland, two guys were gonna fight for the World Heavyweight Championship. I think I don't think Carter took those comments very lightly. 
when Strickland called him a wannabe and a loser. Oh! What a spear by Alfred Hagen, nearly breaking Iron Flex's ribs. Man, what the hell, man? Really? I just don't get it. We just went through a hell of a match, tag team match, which Lito screwed it up for his team because he was with too much of an ego and too self absorbed to tag in uh, Rockhouse. That he, they lost. Dexty the Gun just hit one gunshot, and that was the end. That was how good that man is. And I don't know. Oh my god, Strickland with the championship hitting. And it's guard, and he's hitting. Her flex. Him and Arthur Hagen forming kind of an alliance to take his, their rivals down, and they're beating their asses now. They're owning them. Look at the way Strickland is beating Alex Carter. Ben Apar bomb on Arthur Hagen there on the Iron Flex. Man, what a man! What a crazy way to let's say wrap up. Oh my God! Bomb drop right off the top. Oh my God! I think he busted open Alex Carter. I see blood. And Arthur Hagen is. Still dominating on the flex as well. Man, what the sequence? Look at the way they're brawling. Oh, it's suplex on the championship. And the things that make it worse is that is on a on the floor, not even a mat on the conk on the floor. And oh what a clothesline by Strickland there taking out Carter. And he's going for oh for flex as well. Helping his teammate. A teammate, sorry, his uh the guy who's making an alliance with. We are not even teammates. Man, Arthur Hagen is going for a spear! Spear on Alex Carter. Really breaking the guy's ribs. Oh, he's getting back up. Carter. Oh, Carter holding that championship. And now they're getting back into the advantage in this brawl. Man, I just don't get it. I thought that was the end. The final match of the night, but we're still getting more action. The brawl. These two, like I said, those are two matches. They're going to happen at Grand Slam, which is Carter facing Strickland for the World Championship. And Flex facing Arthur Hagen, man, and look at look at Strickland getting pummeled with punches there in that headlock takedown position from Carter, and look at these two are fighting those big two these two dudes. Oh, and the Flex hitting Strickland, busting him open, headbutt. Man, what a brawl! What a brawl! Oh, and Strickland getting back. Oh, teaming! What a team move there from these two. Oh no, he's going for a spear. No. Oh, and Strickland thrown Flex into the door. Man, what a brawl, man. What a way to send you all people to send you all people home than with a brawl. And oh and Arthur Hagen! Oh look at this! Oh Arthur Hagen and Flex are holding positions over there. Uh the guys are beating. Oh and Arthur Hagen throwing car into both Strickland and Flex. And Flex. Uh oh, the Boston crap position. Spear by Arthur Hagen on Aaron Flex. And these two are once again controlling over them. Wait a minute, what a suplex toss! Throwing the big man, Aaron Flex. Uh oh. What a move there by Carter reversing it. He's going for his move. Oh no. No, no, not the power of Oh my god. And Strickland taking him down with a clothesline. Ladies and gentlemen, that's not all. We have still fighting here on, our, on the ramp. We see Metal Shane Lethal and Gun and Rockhouse. Rockhouse may have not been tagged in that much, but he's gonna fight Dexter Gun. They have issues, I see. And man, look at the way they're, they're still fighting here as well. Even though they won. Oh, what a chair shot by Rockhouse. Rockhouse, the steel chair hitting Bolo Shea and gone. Gone, tuck the chair out and hit him in the head. We paying the hit, the favor there to Rockhouse. And I don't think O'Shea really cares about uh, Rockhouse. Because O'Shea cares about only one man. And wait a minute, I think Gone is taking it to the backstage. Oh, but what a punch there. And Lethal. I don't think Rock Rockhouse had enough. Wait, 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 wait. Oh my god, you throw him in those lights. Wait a minute. Lito. Oh no. Wait, what the? Oh my god, Tombstone on the... Oh my god, oh, Tombstone on the ramp. Man, these two are taking it too much. Gun's neck may be broken. And I see the X Division title there as well. Gun is beating, getting beat by Rockhouse. And we see O'Shea with the barbed wire bath taking it on 
Jason Lethal on the ringside right now. The other two are fighting on the ramp. We saw Alex Carter the Strickland brawling as well as Otto Hagen and Arrow Flex. Man, this night has been crazy. We had two big matches. And now, I think this is the way we're going to send you home, ladies and gentlemen. I still can't believe what is happening right now. And I think Carter wants to leave. No, sorry. No, Carter, sorry. Uh, Lito wants to leave. But no, O'Shea's not. Oh, what an elbow, back elbow, and Lito's leaving. He doesn't want to take a part of this anymore. Lito is going for some. Wait! Oh, O'Shea taking him down! Ladies and gentlemen, what a sequence. Look at the way they're brawling into the crowd. Man, what a scene, man, here tonight in Milan, Italy. APW. Episode 6. Wait a minute, where is he going? Wait a minute, these two are going to the crowd. Oh my god, they left. They're, they're going. They've gone to the crowd. Wait a minute, we see the gun getting his uh, ass kicked. Oh, what a big boot. To Rock House. Rock House wants to beat him. Wait a minute, Gun is going for a suplex. No, he burst it. With the claws on drop. Rockhouse is going for something again. If he's going for that tombstone again, but I don't know how Gun got back up from that. But if he's going for that, oh no, 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 not again! Oh no, Gun reversed it. Wait a minute, Gun is going on the barricade. What the hell is he going for? Gunshot! That was the gunshot by XT Gun. Malaysia. We're still getting something backstage. Let's enjoy James Hendry and Eddie Williams. They were teammates earlier tonight. What the hell are they doing? I thought this was about respect. That match was about respect. Wait, Williams reversing the attempt of Hendry. Even Williams doesn't know what to do, man. He's like trying to trying to stop Hendry attacking him, but Hendry just doesn't care. He wants to get his hands on Williams. He said since that day at Vengeance, he has been. Focused on Eddie Williams, he wants to destroy the man because he took away his dreams of being the first ever US champion. And look at the punches with the test press. Hendry's rolling. Wait a minute, but Williams, I think he's gonna take it lightly. Oh, not, not gonna be Hendry either. Look at him punching him in the face. These two agile competitors, these two amazing wrestlers, and they're rolling to the back. We saw already a lot of fighting, man. This in our match, we said it's gonna be a 30 minute Iron Man match between these two men at the Grand Slam for the United States Championship. We talked about Carter facing Strickland for the World Ties. Talked about. Oh, damn, Daddy Driver! Oh my god, on the floor! Arthur Hagen facing Flex. O'Shea facing uh, Jason Lee from that street fight. We, I think we might have the XT Gun facing uh, Rockhouse for the X Division Championship as well since this happened. A lot of stuff. But I think we also have that uh, Cyber Championship Tournament semi-finals. I mean, we don't really have the final semi-finalists yet because on episode 5, we need to find the final two guys who are going to qualify to face. On one side, we have to see who's going to face McLeod and the other, who's going to face Ray. But on a knee by Hendry, oh my god, nearly decapitating Williams. Those knee strikes. And he's going for a test press again. Man, James Hendry, he just picked up the win for his team earlier tonight. But I don't get it. Why is he attacking Williams? When he, yeah, I, mean, I get it. But, oh, no. Williams reversed that move with the DDT. That's the kind of the way he reversed that cradle shot but with a victory roll that time. And Eddie Williams holding him to a submission there. And he's going for the lucky DDT. Lucky charm DDT. No, he's not going for it. As Hendry scouted. And uh, Hendry's going for it. He's going for it. He's going to hit it. Oh, my God. On the outside. Oh, my God. Sorry. On the floor. Taking him down. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a crazy night. What the heck? There are a lot of people in the ring. Look at them. They're Tyler James, PCM. We have the we have the Universal Champion, Kevin Renfrew. Oh, my God. The ring is full with wrestlers. We talked about also the 30-man 30 30-man 30 Royal Rumble match. We have that Grand Slam Rumble for that briefcase. We talked about that match, and we have most, some of the competitors. We have McLeod as well, and look, it's Tay Jones over there. C 
Savage, Tay Jones. We got Daniel Smith, Daniel Gibson. Let me see if I can see. Matt O'Shea, Tyler James. And, oh, my God. We got Stan Coffey and Rockhouse there. XT gone as well. So many names that are going to be in that match on Grand Slam. Oh, my God. Wait a minute. XT gone there with Stan Coffey, I think. Yes. We have told you. So many people. I think Jason Lethal is there as well with O'Shea because I saw O'Shea and Lethal back into the ring. And oh, what a boot there. We're taking Stan Coffey. This is the thing we're going to have to expect at Grand Slam when we have that rumble. We see Carter, I think. We see Lethal. I think he threw out uh, uh, McLeod, which is the reason. That's the stipulation of the match. Ladies and gentlemen, what a crazy. Wait, what the hell? What the hell is going on? Lights are out. It's wicked! It's wicked! Also, one of the guys is gonna be the Grand Slam Rumble. And a guy who's gonna face Savage Brody at episode 5. In that first round of the cha Cyber Championship Tournament to see if he will face McLeod. Oh my god! Wicked is here! And he's having that bat. And he's going for Tyler James! Wicked is here, ladies and gentlemen. Oh my god. <laughs> my god, my neck hurts, ladies and gentlemen. Almost I scream. You see, uh oh, we have Kevin Redfrew and Wicked who teamed up on the first ever APW episode. Wait a minute, he's going for something. Oh no, he's not. Wicked, as his uh, name, did a wicked thing. <laughs> I don't know, but that guy is crazy. Crazy motherfucker. And Redfrew is going for something. You see, Stan Coffee, Lethal, finally there. I think somebody's busted open. I think maybe Daniel Gibson. You see Ty uh, Daniel Smith. XT Gun is well there. Like we said, a lot of names in that Rumble match. And look at Wicked. The man who just come. We Nobody expected him to be here tonight. But blackout, ladies and gentlemen. We don't have much time. I was Steven Matthews. This was APW. And I wish you a good night. See you next week.